I'm shooting a Remington Model 700, uh, seven millimeters chamber, and we're shooting uh, 155 grain reloads. I'm using a uh, Leopold three by nine VX3 scope. All right, let's send it. It should be about two inches high, zero yeah. for 200. Yeah. He's gonna outshoot me. <laughs> he always does, even my rifle. Oh, you missed the paper, I don't know what happened there. Now you got it just above the bull there. The line's perfect. Okay, just half inch high? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Good. That's good. You happy with that? Thank you. That's perfect. Hey, hon, you want to shoot one? She can shoot the bottom one. I doubt it. Not bad. <laughs> About nine o'clock. The dead animal. We just like to uh, welcome the daily family to Combri Safaris. Um, we are here for six days on a plains game hunt. Um, we've got some of my favorites on the list. Uh, Kudu, uh, Nyala, Bushback, the Spiral, then some Sable in it. Uh, we're really looking forward to spending the week with you guys. Um, Sean, Mark, and MJ. And then this side, we've got our trackers, Thomas and the Zuko. And yeah, we're going to have a good week. Absolutely. This is my second trip to Africa, and I'm most excited because it's my brother Mike and Mary Jo's first trip here. Um, so we're looking to do some, like Richard said, Sable, Kudu, Bushback. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting behind some good quality animals and uh, getting some good footage. And we got Martin behind the camera. to the top just walk slowly over there's a pretty good lookout point and usually the animals like it over there I'm just a little bit worried the wind is blowing in that direction but let's just go have a look and see what's there Uh, sorry, take one, out, take it out, and put it back in the mag. Or okay. we'll wreck another one when we get closer again. Beautiful, beautiful animal. There is that. Okay, let's see if we can catch him on the other side.
basically you're going to be about there somewhere he's going to come out he's just behind these trees he's walking towards that open patch okay. okay, he's getting a bit far out there we'll have to yeah yeah let's leave him we'll find another one Slightly so. Good is. Well done. <laughs> well done. That was beautiful. That was awesome. It worked out perfectly. Just want to watch him. I think I don't think he's going anywhere. Yeah, those legs are up in the air. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Well done, buddy. It must be your first sable. You haven't shot one in New York yet, huh? No. <laughs> Woo! It's a beautiful sable, perfect shot too. Let's just check we're all done, yeah? All done. Well done. It's a beautiful sable. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. Wow. Eh? <laughs> no ground shrinkage, yeah, that's for sure. I was aiming right about there. I was kind of in a hurry. I'm trying to shoot the neck. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. No problem. Well, Mark, your first uh, African animal, a beautiful sable, nice mature bull, beautiful sweeps on him. You know, he's quite wide, lovely bases. I mean, you know, how can uh, you get better than this? I mean, you're not going to find any of those back home. No, definitely not. This is an amazing animal. So surprised to see it, and um, it was a easy stock. Yeah, wasn't too bad of a shot. 
That was a good shot, well played shot. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were on one earlier today and uh, he just wouldn't stand for us. He just wanted to get out of there. And uh, we were lucky enough, you know, half an hour, an hour later, we bumped into this beautiful bull. And, you know, I always say, uh, don't turn down what Mother Africa gives you. And, you know, as the end result, it's a beautiful sable. Well done. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, in South Africa, we've got a bit of a tradition. Um, it's your passage into Manwood. Um, we will be covering you with a little bit of blood, a bit of a face mask, African face mask, and you'll be eating a raw piece of liver. Sounds good. I usually dip it in the back end for a bit of marinade, but we're not going to do that for you this time, okay? So if you can hold on to that, I'll get you some blood. Okay. Okay, lean forward, way forward. There you go. Swallow right, that liver. Do the camera. Chew that shit up. <laughs> yeah, we've got a real man on our hands here. We'll see when uh, your brother does it. Not too bad, eh? Another piece? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're not going to eat your lunch if you get another piece. <laughs> that was good. Well done. Well done. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. What kind of pig? Bush pig? Bush pig. Are they wild? I'll yes. tell you the story about it now. Let me go get her apple. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, pig. Yeah. Pretty little pig. Yeah. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh, nice, man. Okay, is that nice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's my? She's already down the, the river. Don't irritate the people. Yeah. Yep. You should put her in Brian's room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you open the door and go. <laughs> <laughs> Sean doesn't want the sable filmed. <laughs> okay, we spotted three big sable bulls. We saw them a little bit earlier in the day. Um, we've come back on them, they're more or less in the same area, so we want to try and get in a stalk on one. There's a big bull there, and I think Sean's ready to take him. I'm ready to take him.
this bowl on the rat, we just needed to turn the boat on. Now something's up now. Here's another side will they? Let's see you stuck there in the middle of those three. Good hit. Good hit. I didn't see him come out behind the bush, he must be down there. I think he's down there, he hasn't come out behind there. It's a dead sable, my friend, dead sable. Well done. Thank you. Beautiful sable. Thank you, Richard. Only a pleasure, buddy. Well, Sean, we managed to get you a fantastic sable here this afternoon. You know, we shot one this morning and we saw these coming through at about lunchtime. They were bedded down. Um, we had to get the one that we shot back and we knew they'd be more or less in the same area. And they weren't far from there. And uh, we came back and we managed to spot them and uh, here's the end result, a beautiful sable. Well done, buddy. Thank you, Richard. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to coming to Africa since the last time I came here. And uh, sable's at the top of my list, and this is just a beautiful animal, and I love the uh, the curls on it. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Yeah, he's got absolute massive hooks on him. Stunning sable. Nice mature bull. Thick bases. Lovely. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to blood you first. All right. Can we hold your glasses? Here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sean, You've been to Africa before, but then they didn't give you your passage into Manwood, so... They did not. Yeah. We're going to take a little bit of extra step here in the Eastern Cape and make you a real man. Okay. You'll never be equivalent to us, but I mean... It's alright. We'll get you as close as we Love can. Love close. <laughs> Bend the forehead down. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> down the edge. <laughs> no, don't do that. I'll, I'll throw cats if you do Gone. that. <laughs> well done. Well done, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. It's just a privilege to be uh, blooded with my brother Mike here, South Africa, first day hunting. He shot a beautiful sable this morning, and this afternoon Richard put us on another sable, and uh, very grateful to be here. And we appreciate everything that the uh, staff is doing for us at Comrade Safari. Amazing time. Unbelievable. The animals were awesome. I was the liver. 
It was delicious. Liver tasted like not pleasant. Liver. Not pleasant at all. I'm gonna put my head in there and get some more. <laughs> Okay, you see where the black wildebeest is? Yes. That's okay, if you go just a little bit to the right, there's two springbok in those trees over there. Okay, above them? Yeah. No, to the right of the black wildebeest, in the trees. So they need to come out for us to see them properly. Let's just walk forward ever so slightly and see what they do. There's a big one there. He's on those sticks. We'll go down if you need to. Okay, you see the one that's broadside now? Yeah. There he goes there. Lift up, let's go this side. Okay. You must stop this side. I just want to look at it in part of first. Bah. I'm getting a power. Bah. Bah. Okay, take the bliss back. Okay. How many yards? 180. Straight on. Good. Yeah, just reload, just reload. Get on the sticks again. Look like you hit him through the both front legs. Get on the stick. Okay. If you can take him on the front shoulder. Watch her head. <laughs> There's a good headshot. We'll have to shoot another one for a skull. It's <laughs> a good shot, well done. They're supposed to only take one shot, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, there's your blessed back, Mark. Well done. Thank you. Beautiful old ram. Lovely, nice and wide. Got good length. Nice mature one. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Coming at you from Comrade Safaris. My brother and I shot two huge sable today and working our way back to the camp this afternoon. We came across this huge blessed buck ram. Uh, I want to thank Richard and the camera crew for putting us on these animals. Shot them at 180 yards. Uh, with a Remington 700 mag. Just 
slow motion. Right, it's day two on our safari. Um, we had a great day yesterday. We got uh, golden wildebeest, uh, red wildebeest, and black wildebeest on our list today. Um, it's rather chilly this morning. I should have worn two pairs of shorts. Um, when we left the camp this morning, it was minus five degrees Celsius, but I think it's going to be a good day. The sun's coming up, there's hardly any wind, and yeah, I think. Uh, it's going to be a good one. What do you think, guys? It's going to be yeah. a great day. We've already seen one golden wildebeest that was very big, and Richard said, no, we can get bigger. So looking forward to the day. Yep. It's definitely, yeah, excited. OK, we spotted two golden bulls that look relatively good. We're going to see if we can get a little closer. We've got a little erosion sloot in front of us. We're going to try and get into that and because it's pretty open where they are now and see if we can uh, get one of those bulls. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Right. Shit. Get left the bridge for the quickly. Okay, that that one in the middle, if you got him on the shoulder. I think the shot's a little bit high on the shoulder. So let's just give him a bit of time, let that bullet work, and then we'll go see if we can get a bit closer. No, it's a bump. I don't know if we need bigger left or more.
Reload. Might have to shoot a free end, yeah? Put your gun forward on the, on the sticks and over. Okay. So just picture where his vitals are, just to the left of his mouth, and go a little lower down. Lily. See, look, see. Tata, look, tata. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go, Sean. We got your golden wildebeest. A beautiful ball too. Well done, buddy. Thank you, Richard. You got him right in the chest, yeah. Right, Sean. Uh, we put on a great stalk on this uh, golden wallabies. We had a bit of soil erosion that we could hide ourselves in. Other than that, it was pretty open ground, and um, we got to 226 yards. We managed to take a shot. It was a little bit low and forward. Um, we had to follow him up, uh, we chased him for a bit, but we uh, managed to find him in this riverbed. Well done. I appreciate it, Richard. This was high on my list for the last two years when, once I saw these in Namibia. So when I came here, I knew I had to get one of these and beautiful animal and uh, appreciate everything that you've done for us so far at Comrade Safaris and uh, Martin's been great from African Sun Productions. <music> Okay, we spotted a blue wildebeest from about half a mile away. We just want to get in a little bit closer and just uh, see if it's a good bull. If he's a good bull, we're going to take him. He's on his own and usually that's a good sign. No, he's done for. What did you say? He's done. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Holy shit. It's a beautiful cow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Right, Mark, uh, we managed to harvest a beautiful blue wildebeest. It um, wasn't long after lunch, we went out a little early. And uh, Thomas spotted him off the back of the truck from just over half a mile away. And uh, we got a little closer, we put in a nice little stalk. And he was in the same position and he gave us a beautiful shot. One shot kill, exactly where I asked you to aim. And he uh, didn't run 100 yards and he's down. Well done, buddy. Awesome. I'm excited. This is one of the big big ones on my list and um, it's a beautiful bull, an old bull. It, it is an old bull, you yeah. You guys did great. Cormary Safaris does uh, excellent, excellent work. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well guys, the skinning shed is pretty busy today. You can see blue wildebeest, a couple of games back here. Um, this is where all the processing happens. We cape our animals here, take the capes through to the salt room, sculpt them nicely, treat their heads. We've got the cold rooms there for the carcasses and what we do with the carcasses, we obviously feed our clients with them and uh, feed our staff on the property. And uh, we donate to local orphanages and schools as well. That's one of our uh, big uh, things that we do at Comrie Safaris. And obviously there is a bit of excess and we do get rid of it by selling it, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Let's put that in. I see them, they're walking up there. Just see if you can see them through there. Bruh. 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 Ah, you bugger. Okay, come here, lift up your gun. Quickly. Can you see him? I'm going to look for him now. Better sit with him. Can we reload quickly? Can we reload quickly? Come here quickly. <laughs> well done. Where did I hit it? Uh, I in the body. <laughs> He's an old warrior. Eh? Look at that. He's cool. <laughs> yes. He is freaking cool. Yeah. He's Definitely. dead. Watch how angry she gets with me now. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> wow. 
Went out this afternoon up in the mountains here, riding around. Thomas spotted this beautiful old ram Impala. The tip of his uh, horn is broke off, but a beautiful specimen. I took a shot on him. Uh, he came running up, and I had to take another, and um, we found him here. And it's an old break on the horns, beautiful ram. He must have broke it while he was uh, fighting when he was younger. Adds a lot of character. I appreciate all the, the help from Thomas and Richard, uh, Cormier Safaris, for uh, spotting this magnificent ram. And um, thank you to the camera team, African Sun Productions, as well. <laughs>
Okay, when you're ready, you take him on the shoulder. You slant your quarter into us, so on the shoulder. He hasn't come out there yet. Yeah. Let's put another one in just in case. Rack it. Yeah, still looking at it. Rack it. Come out into a gap now. Yeah. Have the 480 yard shot off the sticks. <laughs> okay, our first shot was at 500 yards. Um, we hit him, it looked like a good shot. And he snuck through the thick stuff. It's really thick here where we're hunting him. We took another shot at 482 yards off of the sticks and looked like a good shot. He hasn't come out there where we've shot him. We're just waiting to see. Okay, lift up your gun. Let's go look at this magnificent kudubu you shot at 482 yards. Well, there's your kudubu, buddy. You do want to stick him further in the bush, maybe? Wow. <laughs> well, we're just recovering the kudu bull now through the thick stuff, but if you look over my shoulder here, we took the shot at about 500 yards, and then I followed up with a second shot at about 480 off the sticks to uh, put it down. So very pleased with the uh, animal, and uh, came with my hands on it. You. That's a beauty, eh? Yes, thank you, Richard. Only a pleasure, buddy. <coughs> yeah, it's a beautiful Eastern Cape bull. Some polished up tips, he's got some nice deep curls. Whoo, this is a big bull. I think he's gonna surprise us on the tape. Well, Sean, we've got a magnificent Kura bull here. And um, we got you early this morning. You know, our first talk that we got into, or our glassing session, we spotted three bulls, and we spotted this bull and uh, we managed to put in a shot on him at 520 or around about there 500 yards he went a little bit more forward and you managed to take a magnificent second shot at 480 yards off of the sticks and uh, i tell you what to beat an eastern cape could bull like this is going to be difficult to come by well done buddy thank you richard i appreciate it i just love the character on this bull the scars on the face the ivory on the tips i mean this is such a great trophy and i appreciate everything that comrade safari has done thank you i need a pleasure Right, uh, we've just had lunch and uh, we've just come out again. We need to get a second kudu today. Hopefully we find something good. And we're gonna take Mark out and see what we can find. Wait, we need to dial him first. Well, they're not going to stop now. Yeah. Uh -uh. That's yes. exciting. Yeah, it was. 
can make safety. They weren't stopping though. Nah. That back one was pretty Back two are nice. Good morning, we're day four Comrade Safaris. We're traveling to the coast today for Niel and Bushbuck. Uh, Richard and Justin have already put us on some great sable and kudu. Um, we shot a lot of great quality animals and we are looking forward to today and the days to follow. We spotted four Nyala bulls. There's one exceptional bull, but he's in a thick, thick stuff. It's like hunting Cameroonia at the coastal bush. So we're going to try and see if we can sneak in and get a shot on him. Get rack one, yeah. Line up on him, see if we can get him through that gap. coming out. 
Well done. Well freaking done. That's a big bull. Beautiful bull. Thank you. That was awesome. Yes, it was. I loved it. Yeah, that. There was also a good bull down there. It was just quite narrow, you know. Right. And then these were two younger bulls. Yeah, that bull had perfect bell, flaring out, nice ivory tips. Beautiful. Well done. They worked out perfect. These are the same bulls we chased from the bottom there. Okay. Yeah. Freaking beautiful Niala, my friend. Well done. Beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Beautiful Thank Niala. Thank you so much, Richard. Only a pleasure. Yeah, he's, he's nice. Beautiful ivory tips, you see that? Yes, sir. Fantastic. Nice, mature bull. That's what we're looking for. Well done, buddy. Thank you very much. Right, Sean, uh, we spotted four bulls in the thick stuff right at the bottom of the valley. We took a stalk in, we got to about 15, 20 yards and uh, we couldn't get a shot and he spotted us and he took off and then it just was chaos. There were Nyala bulls everywhere. It was fantastic, it was like hunting in the thickest jungle. And uh, you know, we made a game plan to get a little further ahead of them. We predicted where they'd come out and uh, we were 100% spot on on that and they came out exactly where we wanted them to be. And uh, this bull gave us a chance and he stood broadside and you made a fantastic shot. Well done buddy. Beautiful Nyala. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. This is uh, definitely a great animal, and uh, as you can see by the wind, we're by the coast today, and uh, couldn't be more happy with this animal. And uh, I'd like to thank Comrade Safaris and African Sun Productions for uh, filming this. We're uh, sitting here having lunch, and we just had a, some type of monkey run into the uh, restaurant here, jump up on the counter take the top off of sugar, grab some sugar packets, and run back out on the balcony. Fun times in Africa. On the uh, shuttle now to head down to our rooms. Uh, we're staying at the uh, Valley Bay. Lodge. Valley Lodge. Yeah. Staying at the Valley Lodge. We hunted Niala and Bushbuck today. Uh, Uncle Ted and myself both got beautiful Niala, and tomorrow morning we're gonna try for Bushbuck. There you go. Let's slide. He's struggling here. Wow, very cool. Yes. Thank you very much. Seven to two.
happy on day five of our safari. Uh, Sean and I are looking for a nice Cape bushback today. Uh, the wind is blowing quite strong. We're hoping it'll settle a bit. Uh, but yeah, we're looking in all the valleys where uh, it's a little bit calmer and hopefully we pull out a good bushback today. Perfect. Sounds good to me, Richard. Let's do it. Yes, sir. So, it'll take you at least 24 hours before you get diarrhea, but you should be okay. <laughs> Chicken pot pie here. Mm. Look at that. Pop it out and eat it with your hands? Yeah. That's beef and bacon, yeah? Excellent. Very good. <laughs> and we're day five at Comrade Safaris. We just got back from the Eastern Cape. I shot a beautiful Niala yesterday and we tried our luck today on Cape Bushbuck without any luck. Uh, also on day four, Mike was here at the main lodge at Comrie and apparently he had quite a bit of success. So Mike, why don't you tell us what happened yesterday on day four? Well, yesterday was so exciting. We headed out in the morning, uh, had some other animals we wanted to harvest and uh, come across a whole herd of uh, red hartebeest. So we started stalking them and um, we ended up stalking them probably for a half mile, set up like three different times, couldn't get an opportunity going through a riverbed. Finally, um, we got within a little over 100 yards of a beautiful bull, took him in the morning, came back, and then in the afternoon, we went back and um, found a huge uh, lechwe. Lechwe. Lechwe, I'm sorry. And then um, uh, pulled a wonderful shot on that, beautiful animal, huge, heavy horns, um, and then went out and looked for some uh, spring buck and harvested a huge... Uh, uh, spring buck, common one, uh, beautiful horns, heavy, it was pretty easy stock. We had, you know, there's a couple other ones around, it was windy, but um, the wind was blowing me around a little bit, pulled a perfect shot, and he just dropped right where he was. So it was an awesome day, and um, can't wait to go out tonight for more species. Set it now once you're on. Then get on. I'll just arrange it first. And it's board side on the shoulder in Mars, eh? Shoot in, my friend. Well done. Thank you. I don't know if you're a good shot or my gun just makes you look good. Your gun is good. <laughs> well done. Nicely done. We just got a beautiful golden wildebeest cow. We got a bull a couple days ago and Sean decided he was going to do a, a flat uh, rug with that one. I said, you can't do that. He's too beautiful. If you want a flat rug, let's go and shoot a cow. And uh, there's the end result. Nice. 
Today's uh, day five at Comrie Safari. We're back at the main lodge, and uh, I shot a beautiful golden bull on day two. And I told Richard I'd like to get a rug as well, so he put me on this uh, nice cow and uh, set me up on a good shot and went right through the heart. Nice clean kill. And I couldn't be more happy for this. Gonna make a nice rug. We are on day six. Six today. Um, the list has just grown. The flights have been uh, extended for an extra day. So we've got some animals we can put down. We're going to have a bit more fun. We're going to look for Gamesburg, uh, Black Springbok, White Springbok, Copper Springbok, and what else are we looking for? Whatever we get the opportunity for. There you go. If it's good, we take it down. Absolutely. Let's do it. Right, uh, we back out here just before lunch. We're looking for a black springback, white springback, or a copper springback. We did see them here yesterday. The wind is blowing quite bad. We're gonna give it a bash now. It's in, the, in our faces, so it's in the right direction. Let's see what we can get. Quite a two games back, way up on the mountain below the uh, rock face. Is that better for you? Yeah, because I'm not. Let's, let's do this here. Okay, put it down on that. Support it a bit. Okay, give me him. This is better. Is that better? Yeah. His buddy just scared him for some reason. There he is. Okay. Front one. Pump it. Stomach. Because I think you hit him in the stomach. It sounded like a stomach shot. Come here, come this side, come around. Did you want to break, grab the sticks here, Sean? Come here, come here. Shoot him up the bat, shoot him up the bat. Boy, yeah, Tom Nance.
Oh, he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down. <laughs> There's quite an end, eh? Well done, buddy. I can't run. Well done. No, I understand. Well done. Right, uh, we managed to uh, get a beautiful James Park bull, yeah? Um, we watched him for about an hour. There were two bulls. They just weren't playing their part. They were hiding behind the bush, just watching us with just their heads sticking out. Eventually, they started moving off and we managed uh, quite a long shot, 462 yards, if I remember correctly. And uh, the shot was a little bit back, but uh, he anchored down about 200 yards later and we went to go look for him and uh, he jumped up again and uh, Lulu, uh, Fox Terrier got on him. Here's the real result, a beautiful Hemsworth bull. Well done, Mark. I appreciate it, Richard. Pleasure, buddy. It was an awesome hunt. One of the best animals on my list. I'm really excited. Um, I want to thank Carmary Safari for uh, an awesome hunt. And Lulu, she, uh, she stopped the animal <laughs> and helped us out. She was a big part of the hunt as well. And everybody, thank you. This is a uh, roast lamb with the gravy. And uh, this is roast potatoes, garlic and butter, roast veg, sweet potato, carrots and uh, baby marrow. Uh, last day at Comrie, day seven. Everybody's got a few animals left on the list here or there. We only paid for package B, so we have no electricity today, but Richard said we could upgrade for package A and the lights will come back on. So the lights will be back on shortly. But well, we can't run the credit card because the Wi Fi's out. Right? Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just bought a nice black spring buck. Um, he's in the thorn trees, it's not going to be an easy stalk. Pretty flat here. We're going to see if we can, you know, get him to flush out and stand for us. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if you know, he's going right up towards that mountain now. Okay. Yeah. That's alright. Let's get this bullet out the chamber here quickly. Yep. You see this uh, nice key ring I picked up? Yeah, that's a nice pig, that. It's longer than your tusk, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've spotted a little herd of zebra. We came around a corner and they nearly ran into us. Uh, they've gone over to one of the um, dry uh, soil catchment areas. So we're going to try and stalk them in there. It's pretty thick brush, so if you can get close enough to take a shot. Let's go, Stuart.
Alter, ja. The second one's a big one. Can wreck another one and put it on safe. It's walk up there. Lift up. <coughs> Sean, I don't know if you can see on its tracks how it's dragging that leg. You can see it's kicking it. You can see the streak of dirt that's pushing forward every time because she's not treading straight down with it. She's flicking it forward. So it's kicking that dirt forward. There you go, sir. You got a beautiful zebra here. Well done. Thank you very much, Richard. Beautiful. It. It's nice and clean, beautiful stripes, not Gorgeous. too much scoring. We'll make a beautiful shoulder mount in the back rug here. Got the shadow stripes running here. Yep. Very nice. Very common of the virtual zebra, and obviously the uh, stripes will go, go all the way through to the belly. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Thank you very much. Right, Sean, uh, this morning we were driving out of camp and uh, you decided you wanted a zebra, so uh, we took a drive, we bumped into them not even 30 minutes later and uh, we put on a great stalk on this uh, zebra and you made a good shot at him and uh, here's the end result. Well done and a fantastic zebra, beautiful. Thank you Richard, I appreciate it. Love these animals, they look great and uh, very excited to shoot a different species of zebra. Get on the sticks. Just want to look properly. That one. Yeah. Reload, reload. Well, there you go, Mark. We've got your spring back. As you can see here, uh, the pronk is standing up. Um, basically, when they die, that happens. And also, when they're having fun, that happens. When they're jumping around and pronking, that happens over there. And uh, if you get in there and you smell it, it actually smells like cotton candy. Okay. For real. <laughs> it's a beautiful oh, it black spring back. Beautiful black spring back. Well That's done. Awesome. Well done. Day seven here at the safari. Uh, just Got a nice common uh, spring buck a couple days ago. Decided to try to go for the Grand Slam. Uh, this is my second one, a black, and we've got a couple more, a copper, 
and a white one to try to get. Um, so hopefully we can get it cleaned up by the end of the day. And I'm swimming from my best. Okay, furthest to the right. When you get ready, get comfortable on it, way right, furthest to the right. Yeah, okay, let's just wait for a gap. Yeah. You see what I'm but saying? You, yeah, yeah. You comfortable there? I'm comfortable. Okay. There's a double. Yeah, it's also a cow. My zoom, we don't get his papa. Good hit. Good hit. The one bleeding? Yeah. Good hit. Is our one walk. Right, uh, we've got a beautiful blue world with coal here um, that we managed to take with MJ here. Yeah? It's only a second animal ever and uh, her second one ever in Africa. Her first was the Impala and now she got a lovely wildebeest. Um, it's a cull animal. They're going to do a nice rug and European mount with it. And uh, like I explained to MJ, um, we generally don't shoot from the, tr the track on trophy animals. Um, but it's a cull and it's, she's still uh, getting there with her hunting side of things. And she made a fantastic shot on this wildebeest and here it is, uh, the end result. Well done. Um. I just appreciate all the help and this experience has been fantastic. Uh, I recommend it to uh, everyone. <laughs> well done. It has been a great time. Passes and it should be good to go. Right, guys, I'd like to uh, thank you for choosing Comri Safaris to live your African dream with us. Um, we've had a great safari, some beautiful animals. Um, you've really done well. Um, we've really had a good time with you, with you guys, myself and Justin, and obviously African Sun Productions to make those memories live on forever, you know, in a little DVD or USB, whatever it might be. But thanks once again, guys. Cheers. 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 2023, we'll see you guys soon. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Uh -uh. It's, it's not bad. Money make it go down a little bit. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah.